Are you seen I have gray hair? No! <laughs> that's I for... mean, I only have two. <laughs> like That's for, for me. That's to do it's like a hack right now for doing your eyebrows. Good morning, Vlogmas fam. I am absolutely just like beaming because it's like the prettiest snowfall outside right now. Like it just started and like we're just gonna get a little bit of snow today, but it looks very pretty. It's just like kind of some flurries. Hopefully you guys can see it. It's kind of hard with the screen, but it's just some really pretty little flurries. So as you can see, I am ready to work out in my Fabletics sports bra. So let's go do some cycling and get sweaty. All right, you guys, I just went ahead and worked out and took my shower. Oh, I am so excited to do some skincare. I'm just like loving this cozy, like self-care moment day. There's something about when it snows, I just feel like, I feel like zen. I wanna do a face mask. I'm gonna share with you guys a new product that I have been using for about two weeks now from this brand called Blue. So huge shout out to them for sponsoring this portion of today's Vlogmas episode. As I have mentioned many times throughout this Vlogmas season, my skin has been very dry. Like I am someone who is acne prone and typically very oily but with the cooler dry air like my skin has been super dry so i've been testing out these products and i've actually been getting a lot of comments saying my skin looks very glowy so thank you i have been testing out these products now for like i said about two weeks because i really like to try products before i share them with you guys like i like to test them out make sure they're good um, and i'm really really loving so first when i tell you I have been completely and utterly in love with the packaging of the face mask. Ooh, like stunning. Like it looks just so pretty even just sitting out on my bathroom counter. So let's go ahead and throw on this mask. I already went ahead and washed my face when I took my shower. So as I mentioned, I am acne prone and I love me a good clay mask. So what I like about this skincare line, it has glacial oceanic clay. So we are using ingredients from the ocean and it pulls out all the toxins from your skin and all those impurities. You feel very clean after you use this. Also with the oceanic clay, it's pulling moisture from like deep within the inner tissue of your skin. So you'll get even more rehydration. So it's been pretty much the perfect skincare for me especially this time of year and i do i watch back vlogmas and i'm like y'all my skin is glowy af i think my skin's also been looking like extra glowy lately because it also detoxifies for a brighter complexion and as you guys know i'm super oily it reduces sebum as well which is like the oily stuff on your face which naturally removes dead cells that's also going to help with brightening and it also promotes blood circulation and regeneration of damaged skin so we are just getting the best of our skin coming forward so i'm going to leave this mask on for about 10 to 15 minutes and then i will come back and we'll do the rest of our skincare all right y'all i'm taking off the mask i take it off like my skin feels so soft and like bouncy and supple and amazing so next i'm going to grab the toner this is the next step that i love to use typically after i wash my face so i just put some in the palm of my hand and i just press it into my skin so this toner is very rich in like skin nourishing sea minerals it also kind of feels nice and cooling so it soothes your skin and guys i think it's also been helping my skin as well because it helps promote healthy skin renewal for a more clear complexion and lastly i like to finish up with one of their moisturizers so i have two here that i kind of rotate between i kind of like to use this one at night more the hydrating glacial moisturizing cream and then we have the hydrating glacial moisturizing moisturizing emulsion. Right now I'm gonna use the emulsion. So this has all the same amazing properties. It's got jojoba oil in it, a lot of nourishment you can feel on the skin, but it doesn't leave you feeling greasy. It really helps to like soften the skin. And again, all those same amazing properties for brightening, helping with skin renewal, helping, helping, helping with your complexion. And you know what, for the sake of this video, I will double moisturize because why not, we're just, 
chilling at home today and I could use all the hydration I can get. So this is the moisturizing cream. Oh, it feels so good. I'm just gonna massage this in. As you see, I do my neck too. And this one has all the same amazing properties plus hyaluronic acid, which we all know and love. It's a holy grail skin ingredient that we all need in our routine. So um, I love the way my skin has been looking with these products. I definitely recommend also, I love that they're safe for sensitive skin because so sensitive. So I will go ahead and put a link down below in the description box if you guys want to check out Blue. Um, I love trying new skincare and I definitely give this one my seal of approval. All right, you guys, sorry for the dishwasher. <laughs> Never comes at the right time. But I thought me and Mariah Carey could do some sort of baking tonight. I mean, it's not really baking. In fact, it's not baking at all. <laughs> so I have been seeing for years people making this thing called Christmas crack. I've never made it. It's with like saltine crackers and chocolate and like you put toppings on it. And I wanted to make some and like just deliver them to my friends and family and just like leave them on their doorstep as like, a little surprise slash I love you, I'm thinking of you. So we need one cup of butter, one cup of packed light or dark brown sugar, four saltine crackers, about one sleeve, one package of semi-sweet chocolate chips. And if you wanna do additional toppings on top, I got some like Christmas M&Ms, Christmas colored M&Ms. Yeah, I don't know. I just thought this would be like a fun little Fun little moment, I got these like little Christmas kind of like cookie bags, I guess, or treat bags to put them in and yeah, then we'll drop them off on people's doorsteps. I'm making this the night before, so probably tomorrow. All right, preheat the oven to 350. I feel like I have seen so many people make Christmas crack, so let me know if you guys have done it before. Line a large baking sheet with aluminum foil. If using regular foil, spray with non-stick cooking spray. I feel like, wouldn't parchment paper be better? Every time I go against the directions, it's not good. After that damn Yule log video where I should have used the coffee, not the milk, because you guys taught me, thank you for educating me, that coffee brings out the chocolate flavor and doesn't taste like coffee when you're baking. So <laughs> thank you. I'm actually really glad you guys taught me that because I had no idea. So I'm just gonna follow this. I'm not gonna mess this up. Um, spread the crackers on the foil in a single layer and then fold up the edges of the foil that's why, to box in the crackers. And then we're gonna set that aside and start making our like sauce. All right, I'm excited. Again, sorry for the dishwasher. This is the largest pan that I have. All right, let's grab our saltines. Oh my God, if I'm being so honest, these are so old. <laughs> okay, they're not expired, but they are old. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, they're not expired. All right, so now let's line them up. All right, next we are going, oh my God, that's a lot of butter. Um, we need a cup of butter, which is two sticks. So now we are going to melt together. This is a very easy recipe, by the way, guys. Like, a lot of you may even have this stuff at home. I feel like everyone has saltine crackers in their house. And then we're gonna add in one packed cup, oops, of brown sugar. I'm gonna get that starting to melt while I do this. So we want to melt this together and bring it to a roaring boil for five minutes once it starts boiling. All right, so let's go ahead and this all melted together. Okay, it's been like a minute or two. Slowly starting to melt. Obviously, this is not a healthy recipe, but I've been just dying to try and make it. Okay, so we are boiling, everything is melted, and they say specifically to set a timer for five minutes. So then after the five minutes, I'm not sure if I should be like stirring this. I feel like I should. After the five minutes, we pour it immediately over the crackers. Okay, so it's almost been five minutes. I wanted to show you guys before I pour it. It is super bubbly, kind of fluffy. Uh, so I'm gonna turn off the heat and pour it onto the crackers. All right, y'all, here I come. Okay guys, 
guys. Five minutes in the oven. All right, here we go, guys. So now immediately we pour our bag of chocolate chips on top. And we're supposed to let them start to soften. And then, you know, they will soften and we spread it around because it's going on top of like hot toffee. So, all right. We're gonna see in like a minute or two, it said, that they should soften from the heat and we'll see if we can spread them around. And if they don't spread, we're supposed to put it back in the oven so they'll kind of like melt a little bit more. Alright guys, our chocolate spread really easily and now I'm just going to toss on some holiday M&M's. I don't see why anyone wouldn't want M&M's on them because they're just plain chocolate M&M's so it's just more chocolate. Now we're gonna go ahead and pop them in the fridge for two hours and let it harden and cool. And then when you take them out, we're gonna like break them into pieces and that's how they are served. All right guys, good morning. Sorry, I literally just threw my hair up. Didn't even brush it yet, <laughs> but it is the morning and I am super excited to check in on my Christmas crack. <laughs> so I'm gonna break off a little piece. I want, I want Bubba to try it. So Before I deliver it. I'm a big fan of Bark Thins. Yeah. And I'm hoping... It has a similar, similar vibe. I'm thinking it'll be better than Bark Thins. I don't know. Mmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Does this have caramel? Toffee. Toffee. Mm-hmm. It's like a caramel mm -hmm. toffee kind of vibe. Mm -hmm. You like it? Yeah. Cool. Sweet. Mm. I'm glad. I'm glad it came out good because mm -hmm. I've never had it before. <laughs> I'm gonna go snack. You want me to keep some here? <laughs> a little yes. bit for you? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> Yay. Just put out some more snacks for the delivery workers. Does she not have gray hair? No! <laughs> that's I for... mean, I only have two. <laughs> like That's for, for me. That's to do it's like a hack right now for doing your eyebrows. <laughs> <You're> not... <laughs> oh my god, that's really funny. Mm -hmm. So now let's go ahead and break it up into some pieces. I honestly don't have like that many people I'm bringing this to. I feel like maybe I should break it into pieces like before I oopsie, worry about the bags. I did wash my hands. I also tried a little piece. Oh my God, y'all gotta make this. It's so easy to make too. Okay, so I just assembled all of them, as you can see. So um, the other two that I made are gonna go to my family. And look how cute. So I put just little name tags on them, to and from. And I'm bringing one to Gabby and her boyfriend, Matt. And then one to my friend Abby, and one to my friend Alexis. And I'm literally just gonna drop them on their doorstep and then text them and be like, I left you a treat on your doorstep. Y'all, if you have never had Christmas crack, woo, it is so delicious. I feel like it'd be so good with like more turkeys. I've been seeing a lot of turkeys lately. Um, I feel like you, it would be really good with like peanuts on top or pretzels or nuts other nuts than peanuts but I wanted to keep it simple for the first time but uh 10 out of 10 I just thought about this if, if I was any sort of good creator I would have worn like a Santa hat and I would have brought their Christmas gifts and left them on their door like ho 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 bitch I brought you a Christmas present and some candy little chocolate things <laughs> should have brought their gifts like I <laughs> just drove to the next city and like didn't bring 
Abby's Christmas gift. Should have just left it on her door, but that's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, all right. I feel so low-key creepy right now. I hope she doesn't see me. <laughs> I feel so creepy. Because her bedroom's in the front. Okay. I feel like such a creep. I feel so creepy. It's only creepy if she sees me. <laughs> because then it's just like me creeping away in my car ever so casually. I'm sorry, I'm sorry it took me like a second to buckle up. Please don't yell at me. <laughs> I was just so anxious. Why did that just give me so much anxiety? Hey boo, lol, Santa left a little treat on your porch for you. Your message to Abby says, hey boo, lol, Santa left a little treat on your porch for you. Ready to send it? Okay, it's sent. The way Siri says LOL, she goes, LOL. <laughs> if you ever want to have a good laugh, I need you to like text your have someone text you LOL 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 LOL. And then like have Siri read you the message and she goes, Yarman said, oh la 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 It is so entertaining. All right, so thankfully, Alexis lives right down the street from Abby. So now I'm going to drop hers off. And then Gabby lives pretty close to me. So I'll hit her on the way home. <laughs> oh, this is what Abby replied. <laughs> Just a little treat. <laughs> All right, Alexis, I'm coming for you. <laughs> All right, hopefully she wakes up soon <laughs> and can get her treat. All right, to Gabby's house. 